location. Instead of selling us tickets, we get tokens. I don't know. I guess we'll find out what will happen. This is our train, but we don't know how to get across. We're running to catch it. We made it to the cave. This is so beautiful. There's so many fish in the pond, and then there's a waterfall over there. So pretty. It's cold, but your heart's colder. I will wait for you. In front of the steps right now, and the statue is so, so big. It's amazing. Really impressed when we came around the corner and saw it. Now we're gonna go and get some breakfast before we go up the stairs. I don't know what these are, but they look awesome, so I ordered them. Good? Hope we didn't eat too much now to go up the stairs. The glitch in your eyes pulled me under. Now, going up. All the many hundreds of stairs. But I will wait for you. There's nothing left for me to do than run and act myself a fool. No point in trusting anyone. Your eyes of time and see me up. Never thought that it could be this rough. No point in trusting anyone. Almost at the top of all the stairs. It's really hot. There are monkeys everywhere. That's them right now, screaming for food. We got to the top and the cave is so spectacular. This is inside the first cave. The ceiling is so tall and it's so beautiful. Across over there are these stairs leading up and they're kind of illuminated in the light and there's water dripping down and you can hear it all over. Really, really amazing. Somehow very majestic. I love it here so much. I went and lit a candle in the temple and got this. It was just, I don't know, a lot of things about the Hindu religion are very intriguing to me and I think it's just so beautiful and peaceful that religion. This place is relaxing which I think a lot of touristy places don't feel like. But this place feels very majestic and peaceful and just awe-inspiring. I definitely recommend that you come here. Again it is called Batu Caves. Getting here from central Kuala Lumpur is cheap and pretty easy. You get on the train it's about 50 cents for a one-way ticket. That's what we paid per person and then you come here and you can have some of that awesome Indian food for 
what did we pay the deal? 12 ringgit each, which is about $4 US and the meal is so awesome. And then to go in the temple and put a little offering, I paid 10 ringgit and that's all. So of things to do in Kuala Lumpur, I think that Batu Caves should definitely be on your list. We didn't have much time in the city, we only have three days here, but we got here no problem. What do you have to say, Livio? What do you think of this place? Um, I'm not good for interviews today, I don't know what to say. Oh, and also, if you're a girl and coming in shorts, that's fine, but you're gonna need to get a sarong from the ladies downstairs and they just give it to you. Um, you don't have to worry about finding where to get it. Going back down the stairs now to leave. I just keep kind of stopping and wanting to stay. I just really, really love this place. I think it's because it is a touristy place, but at the same time, it feels very meaningful and it's not just tons of people pushing you to take uh, selfies, you know. A lot of people come here um, all the way from other countries to pray and do offerings. It's actually the second most important Hindu temple in the world. It just felt different. There's nothing left for me to do I'm back myself Lumpur from the caves now. We're going to get ready to go to the airport. Um, we both have a little bit of work to do, so we're gonna try and find a cafe. I will wait for you. Walking back now, it is hot. About 93 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just hot. Hope that you liked my adventures in the Batu Caves in Kuala Lumpur. Really recommend. So if you didn't get that already. Thank you guys so much for watching and also something I'm gonna recommend you do is go and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. On Twitter especially coming up lately I'm gonna have a lot of like votes and asking you guys for insight on stuff. I'm gonna be traveling through Australia and then some more exciting places of course as always. I more um, am able to connect with you guys on there because you know the YouTube comments get kind of crazy and I can't really keep up with them. It's much easier for me to connect with you guys on there, especially Twitter. I find I can like talk to people more. I don't really like normally talking about my social medias and being like, go follow me, but um, I think what I mean is it's just like a better opportunity for me to talk to you guys that way, so yeah. Again, hope you enjoyed the video and me exploring the awesome Batu Caves, and thanks for watching. See you next time in Australia. Bye! Glitch in your eyes, pull me on